you may have heard about the term counseling, coaching, consulting, or even mentoring. Now, do you know actually what is the difference between them? And how does it impact your life or your business? Let's say if you decided to try out these services. Now, in this video, I'm going to share with you the key differences between these four terms using this quadrant so that you can have a better understanding of how these services can impact your life or your business. Let's deep dive in right now. Now, as you can look at this quadrant, I divided into the y-axis and the x-axis. Now, in the y-axis, it consists of the term called ask orientation and tell orientation. And in the x-axis, I split into problem focus and solution focus. Now, let's talk about what is actually counseling, the first term. Counseling is actually a process whereby a counselor ask certain questions with regards to the client's background, the history, like to find out what happened to the client in the past that affects his or her emotions in the current state. So that's why during this counseling process, the counselor has to find out what's the actual problem, what is not right about the client that caused him or her to feel uncomfortable in the current state. So it's very problem focused and you have to ask the right questions during the counseling process. And that is the definition of counseling. Next, I want to talk about the second term, which is coaching. And why is it fall under the ask orientation in the y-axis and the solution focus in the x-axis? Let me explain. Imagine you are a client, you want to engage a coach to help you in your weight loss. And during that coaching conversation, the coach is supposed to ask you some powerful questions to understand your current situation and what kind of problems do you have in your current state and also can discuss what are your limiting beliefs, the potential barriers that may stop you from getting from where you are now to where you want to be. Because in the coaching process, it's actually very future goal oriented. That's why it is more like a solution focus type of process whereby you and your coach can collaborate together to discuss what are the possible options that you can do to help you reach your goal faster. And that is the difference between coaching and the rest of the terms. Okay, let's focus on the third term, mentoring. As you can see from this quadrant, it falls under the tell orientation in the y-axis and the solution focus in the x-axis. Now, during the mentoring process, it's actually a long-lasting relationship between you as a mentee and your mentor. And let's say, for example, if you have a particular problem that you want to solve and you have been searching for solution and do not know how to solve it, so you approach your mentor to seek help from him or her to give you valuable advice because your mentor is an expert in that particular niche of industry whereby he or she has been there and done that he has go through all the experience making a lot of mistakes so that he or she can give you some tips of what are the mistakes to avoid so they can proceed to your next step to achieve your goal which is solution focus and during that mentoring process your mentor can tell you what to do and not to do so by doing that you won't make all those silly mistakes again and you are one step nearer to achieving your goal. And that is the power of mentoring. Okay, so let's wrap it up with this last term, which is consulting. And this consulting term is falling under the x-axis problem focus and the y-axis tell orientation. Now, during the consultation process, the consultants will go into the company to interview their clients, to analyze what is the root of the problem that happened in the organization. And after interviewing the clients, the consultants can proceed to do all the research, the findings, to find out what happened that caused this problem to arise. So during the 
consultation process is actually a very problem focused process whereby the consultant has to dig out to dive deep into the problem so that they can provide recommendations, suggestions to the clients of how they can improve their business process, etc. So as you know that um, these consultants are the experts in their field. That's why they are able to tell the clients what to do and what not to do uh, based on the recommendations that they provide to their clients. And that is the key difference in consulting. I hope this video gives you some clarity to understand the key differences between counseling, coaching, mentoring, and consulting, and decide which type of services is suitable for you, and also depends on your needs and wants, because every terms have their own advantages and benefits. And let's say if you enjoyed this video, please do remember to click on the subscribe button below and leave me a comment. Which type of services have you tried before? And does it impact your life, your career, or your business? And that's all for now, and I'll see you in my next video.